Placer is a location intelligence software platform or data platform, let's say. The website, placer.ai, which I would highly encourage everyone here to do. You can sign up for a free account. You can mess around with it, experience it for yourself. In short, what we do is we aggregate anonymized mobile location data from tens of millions of mobile devices across the U.S. So, you know, we're not after understanding where, you know, John Smith lives, um, but we are, you know, interested in, you know, relating patterns of human mobility to places. And then we study those places. Our users are a broad swath of, you know, commercial real estate, city government and civic organizations, retailers, economic development groups, consumer products companies, airports, transportation, you name it. It's a really versatile and broad reaching tool. Uh, and, and, you know, basically anywhere you can point to on a map where people are uh, in enough volume for, for us to register a foot traffic count, uh, we can run a place to report for. To give you an idea of what that might look like, that could be a developer of a mixed use project looking to uh, comparable properties to understand uh, demand for different retail tenants within that property. It could be um, you know, uh, an economic developer that's looking to uh, attract and retain you know, new commercial businesses and wants to understand the patterns of how you know, people from in and out of their jurisdiction are visiting different locations throughout their region. It could be a hotel company that's looking to benchmark you know, their performance relative to competitors. Anywhere we'll where people go, that we can observe a pattern of behavior, we can translate that into, you know, location-based insights. We have a lot of different like touch points. I mean, I, I use Placer uh, to figure out how long I was going to have to wait for my vaccine appointment, uh, you know, for, <laughs> for God's sake. So there's, you know, the, you know, the possibilities are really limitless, but, you know, it, it's the kind of thing that like most people kind of see in many ways, you know, almost daily. If you use Google Maps uh, to, to get directions to go to, you know, the restaurant, it tells you that like it's likely busy at this time of day. It's the same underlying approach, except, you know, we're not Google. We take a very privacy forward approach to this. And, you know, like I said, our focus is on understanding places and locations, uh, you know, whatever that may be, whether it's, you know, someone on the, uh, on the home building side, that's looking to validate demand. Um, you know, I, I, I'll, I can later tell a story about my personal experience using Placer to do exactly that. If I was looking to build a second home community and I used Placer to look at a bunch of counties, you know, in a region, let's say, and saw that one of them had a sharp up uptick and people going uh, to that area on the weekends, Monday through, you know, Sunday, let's say, or uh, Friday through Sunday, let's say, that might tell me that there's a demand for second homes or, or you know, places like that, that, you know, maybe untapped um, that I'd want to look at. And, you know, I, I did exactly that, in fact, in my own experience. So as it relates to home building, I mean, understanding characteristics of consumer, you know, like consumer and renter and tenant behavior are also really crucially important to understand how best to program and how to amenitize different, you know, kinds of properties, and, you know, relative to their location. So if you're building a you know, single family um, build to rent community and, you know, your target market works at Tesla headquarters at this address in Austin, Texas. Well, we can run a report on all employees of Tesla headquarters at that location and see where they live in terms of their aggregate, their, you know, like a heat map of the different neighborhoods. And then we can also see different things like what stores they shop at, what brands they prefer and on a whole host of other, you know, socio-demographic indicators that can give you an idea of, you know, if you should build two bedrooms or threes, or if people uh, need electric charging infrastructure or otherwise, there's all sorts of things that like we can bring to the table as enrichment, or, you know, data points, just a few of the many, many ways to slice, you know, placer and mobility data more generally to understand that. When someone is um, using the, the site uh, or, you know, a client has signed on with you, are, are they just getting raw data? Are you doing analysis and interpretation? Are you, you know, being prescriptive? Yeah, that's the thing. Is it so, you know, it, it's less predictive versus prescriptive, but it's more kind of like how we manipulate and enable people to actually use the data. So having been a customer of even several other mobility data companies in the past, I was doing things like I was working for a real estate, like a family office that was doing you know, institutional scale developments. And, you know, I was getting asked to figure out like, how do we get a better handle on migration patterns, let's say. So I landed on mobility data as a way to, to, you know, understand and track that, but it just took me forever to be able to run a, you know, to, to get an insight that I needed. It would take me six months of work in order to figure out like where there were, you know, where there was an uptick in higher income people moving into a particular zip code, let's say. And with Placer, I was 
basically able to uncover, you know, to do that exact same analysis in a matter of a few minutes. It's really taking this big, hairy mess of data that like is, <laughs> is, you know, very thorny and difficult to work with. And, you know, basically turning it into charts, maps, and tables so that like people on this call who are real estate practitioners, not data scientists, can actually get value out of it in a matter of minutes. That's that's what we do best. We, you know, sell is basically an enterprise subscription to our platform. And then, you know, if you need custom data and reports and stuff like that, you know, that that's kind of like a secondary focus. Do you have any specific master plan community or built to rent project that you might've worked on? Yeah. So, uh, you know, in my, in my spare time, I'm a hobby <laughs> real estate developer. And so even before I started working at Placer, I was looking at properties in the Hudson Valley and the Catskills uh, in, in, you know, around New York city in the New York metro area. You know, this was for, I was working for, you know, another company doing real estate investments at the time, but this was something I wanted to do on my own. And I was trying to figure out, okay, well, you know, how would I figure out where to invest? And so, of course, I had Placer and several other tools, and I was able to basically run through the exact example I gave you, where I was able to see that there was, con, you know, a significant increase and in, consistent increase in demand for a particular or, you know, county and town uh, up in the Catskills. And then I started to look at property and, you know, met a broker, became a friend and partner. And, you know, we laid eyes on something that was much bigger than we had initially conceived of, but a 120 acre parcel. That's an old farm that we, you know, started to work on to understand, you know, what the potential for, you know, the land was. And, you know, fast forward two years and we're building a, you know, mixed use community centered around an organic, a regenerative organic farm and agritourism experience. So long story short on site, there's going to be about a dozen houses, a mix of, you know, for rent and for sale, and then a 50 room hospitality operation as well with a, with a restaurant and everything like that. So kind of a re resort style community, but you know, we're, we're, I have access to Placer given that I work for the company. And so anytime I, I, you know, have a question that I need to get answered, you know, my first inclination is, well, can I do that with Placer? And, you know, in, in, you know, many times the answer has been yes. So like, not only have I used it to inform the acquisition and validate the demand for the location, but then I've also been using it for, you know, programming and informing, you know, the design, you know, on a property this scale, like, you know, basically, you know, you're looking at a very large, you know, plot of land with different buildings and stuff around it. And so that's, those are the comps, you know, the other properties that we're competing against, especially in the, in a hospitality sense. So, you know, I've basically been using Placer to understand occupancy levels at all of the competitive properties, uh, you know, other hotels in the area and seeing kind of like when their peak seasons are, you know, getting an idea of how many people go stay as overnight guests versus just stay for a couple hours because we can track that in Placer. And it's helped me to, you know, get a better understanding of like, okay, well, if I can go to TripAdvisor or, you know, Kayak and see what pricing is for these hotels, and then I can look and see the amenities and how people are actually using those amenities by using the mobility data, it gives me a good tip off in terms of how to program my property in order to get, you know, the most value and bank for my buck. And then, you know, similarly, like, you know, when we have our property fully constructed, which is, you know, going to be a multi-year exercise, we're going to be using it to understand, you know, competitive performance, right? So, are we getting, tra you know, foot traffic on our property from further away than some other, you know, some of our competitors, right? Like, are we, are we a bigger regional draw? Are we busier midweek than they are? Uh, because we have better program, you know, like events and things like that. So not only do I have the, you know, the distinct pleasure of, you know, using the, the product that I, you know, help work on every day, you know, out in the field, but it also makes me, you know, a much smarter, you know, and more capable real estate investor by having access to all that cool information.